Hello, my Geminis. How are you? My name is Misty the Mystic. Welcome, welcome. My angels and guys welcome you to Sugarfoot Tarot. If you like your own personal reading, uh, please, all my information is below. You can go ahead and contact me. This is for my Geminis. Life in general for April 2020. Um, check your sun, moon, and rising. You shouldn't have to check your Venus sign because there shouldn't be any love in these readings. Um, what I have chosen is the Spell Cancer Spellcasters Tarot. And if we need to clarify anything, the mystical tarot. And as I was uh, meditating on you, my beautiful Geminis, for April 2020, I just see you standing on the street, not at the corner where the light is, but like in the middle of the street, just looking both ways, your head going left and right fast, left and right. And I see the town just, there's nobody in town. It's just like a, a ghost town. And with this car of I totally understand, but I just see you looking both ways. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, what fell out after I was meditating on you was you. You're definitely an air sign, the queen of swords. Um, so you're kind of drawing a line in the sand. Um, you're, you're setting up boundaries. Um, you know, here's a Taurus, but that also could be Mother Earth and being steadfast. Um, but I definitely see you taking this sword and you're drawing a line in the sand. Very interesting. Uh, also fear of getting the coronavirus. Also not wanting to be taken advantage of. You know, you're helping people out and people are taking advantage of you. Um, I do not see you taking advantage of other people. So I just see that, again, you're just drawing a line in the sand like, you know, this is ultimatum. This is my boundaries. We're not going to cross them. Okay. Whoops. My phone is plugged in and that. Okay, so let's go ahead and shuffle really quick. So this is general life, my Ge my Gemini's, April 2020. Let's cut the cards. Dharma's swimming around here somewhere. She must be in the back. There she is. Okay, bottom of the deck. Five of swords. Yeah, picking up the pieces, dealing with people. Um, the wolf pack. Definitely you're drawing a line in the sand and you're not going to put up with any nonsense. Definitely whatever has been happening in January, February, March, you're over it. And if you're worried. You're worried about your family. You're like, no, but none of my family is going to get sick. I'm not going to get sick. We're going to burn this fire. We're going to keep everyone quarantined and everyone else that, that doesn't matter are going to fall to the wayside. Discarding. Um, keeping your hygiene, cleaning your house, um, you know, making sure that your family is protected. And um, yeah. Okay. So let's look at the top of the deck. Seven of Wands. So yes, you know, you are getting ready, taking care of your family, making sure your family's good, um, buying supplies, making sure you have it in case you need it. Um, and you're not being overwhelmed at all. There you go. Out. You know, you got you got your helper with you. Um, so definitely you're not by yourself. And, you know, it's what, you know, as you're picking up your burdens, your tasks, things that need to get done, um, you're on top of the world and this is bearing fruit. And so you are on top of the world. Whatever you're doing in your life, you're doing it well. And it's working for you and your family and your workmates and your friends. Um um, you may not be put on vacation for your job. You know, you may be one of the lucky ones that you don't need to. And if you are put on vacation and you are quarantined like the rest of the world, you're okay because you, you've saved for a rainy day. You're golden. You have a backup. You have plan B. Okay. You know, worry, squirreling, saving for a rainy day. Um, do, did I save enough? This isn't you doing it in the future. This is what you've done in the past. Have I saved enough? Did I do enough, um, for this, this outbreak that has happened? Um, and I believe you have, I believe that you've saved enough. You're good. 
Um, you're worried about the future. That's again, you looking, I saw you looking in a street, in the middle of the street, looking left or right, you know, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Worrying. You're an air sign. Of course, you're going to be in your head, but you've saved enough and you're good. Okay. Four of swords resting. So yeah, you may be one of the ones that are allowed to work. Um, but that's okay. You've saved enough. Pardon me for reaching over. You've saved enough. You're able to rest. Um, you're on top of the world. Rest will do you good. The rest will do you good. So no worries there. Okay. Mm, ten of swords. So yeah, you know, things could be crashing down around you. But remember, this is my Phoenix rising from the ashes card. So, you know, Remember, you may have to take time out, and this is scary what's happening to the world, but you're going to take the rest, and you're going to be on top of the world, okay? You're going to draw a line in the sand and say, you know what? I don't know what's happening around me. Sorry about the glare. I don't know what's happening around me, but I'm drawing a line. I'm going to be on top of the world. I'm going to accept this and I'm going to rest and worry about my plan B. Okay, one more card. Um, nine of wands. Don't get in your head about it. Don't get in your head. We're all in this together. We're all going to work through this. We're all going to be okay. You've got plan B. Don't worry, okay? Until next month, my beautiful Gemini. I love you. Recycle the love. See you later.